Okay, I'm here, what's up? Uh, Rosie wants to show us the new project she made for the science show. What's a science show? It's a huge competition this school has every year where kids bring all kinds of cool machines and inventions they've made. Guys, I need help with something. Something very bad happened. What is it? It can't be that bad. My machine isn't working. Have you tried turning it on? Yes. Why do these things always happen before big events? Maybe it's slow on gasoline. There should be some in the lab. I'll go get some. Dang it. I lost my phone. Have you seen it? No. This machine is gonna help me win first place, right? I mean it's gotta work. Oh no. What's that? I thought that your machine needed more oil. I thought it did too. Maybe the machine didn't do anything. Okay. I was worried that the machine did something to us. I don't think the laser did anything bad. Hey, when I returned to the lab I couldn't help to notice that the laser was destroyed. Me and Rosie got blasted with the laser. There should be no effect on us. The default setting for the laser is a 2, and we were blasted at a 4. 100. There's no telling what could have happened. It could have sent us into another dimension or made us time travel or turned us invisible. Well, we're not invisible, and last I remember, we're still in the same dimension and time. Everything went wrong. I'm not gonna get to submit my project for the science fair anymore. Or Rosie that bites. I'm sorry. Why am I back over here, and where did Rosie and Leo go? Okay. I'm here, what's up? Did I just time travel? No 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 that is not possible. What are you talking about? Uh, Kalu, for some reason I just appeared back into the lab and don't remember going back there. I think it's possible we have time traveled. Wait, let's think about this. Maybe this is a good thing. We get to do any day over again and fix everything that went wrong. Maybe we have to think about a time in order for it to work. You said if we think of a time we could time travel and I think we just did. Did we just figure out time travel? I think we did. Let's see what we look like to everyone. I think we are futurers. This must be how we look to everyone. When we time travel we enter our bodies from that time. This is a disaster. Why didn't you stop me from changing my eyebrows? Come on, let's go see what the world is like. Look, it's a bunch of futuristic inventions. And look at that AR robot over there. What if we borrow this invention for a little while? No, you're always up to something. We could get in trouble if we did that. I mean, we did discover time travel, so if anything we should be allowed to borrow it for a little while. Knock yourself out, but just know I had nothing to do with this. Hey you, you can't touch that. It's time to send you to the detention center. Hasta la vista. Was that your brother? Sir, no sir. Hey, I can't believe you just sent him to the detention zone. It's okay. Once he has learned his lesson, I will set him free. And how many people have you set free? Let me do the math. Zero. Officer, you need to bring him back. Why do you care so much? Because he was with me. That was my brother. That was your brother? Yes. So if you're gonna keep him locked in there, you're gonna have to put me in there too. Whatever. Oh good. My brother, and a room full of psychos. It looks like we have another delinquent. Name. Uh, Rosie but I actually, take a seat. Sorry but can I just talk to? Sit. Today's lesson, is the same as it is every day, how not to be a delinquent. Hey, what are you doing here? Busting you out, you didn't think I would let you. Hey loud girl, 
There's no talking. We got to figure out how to time travel back to our year and get out of here. Maybe we have to think of a time and then we traveled there. So if we want to go back we just have to think back to before. Nope. Back to before. Nah. Back to before. Still here. Time travel is so hard. Well you know what they say. Honesty is the best policy. Honesty is the best policy. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> they know you're a nerd. Just follow me. Hi, Dean. There's been a huge mistake. We're actually heroes who don't belong here. Really? Everybody, how many of you are actually heroes who don't belong here? Me. Me. What she means is, we're Boris's children. Everyone, how many of you are Boris's children? Me. Me. Now, since you two are determined to be a disruption, you can help me feed the class pet. What are the chances it's a hamster? It could still be a hamster. Won't that thing bite us when we feed it? I wouldn't worry about that. Would you worry about that? Absolutely. I would never touch that thing. Touch. That's it. If we touch each other's hands and think of a time then we can travel to that time. Hey, I'm here. What's up? I'm back. Hey. We're back. Maybe that's it. We have to think of a time and then touch each other's hand. That must be how it works. Didn't we just figure out time travel? I think we did. I have no clue what you guys are talking about. Now, let's go submit your science project. You know, suddenly, that doesn't seem like the best idea. Let's not do that. Let's jump forward in time to when the science fair is over. How great is time travel? Today was so fun, but we have to remember that time traveling can have consequences. Yeah, it's crazy to think about the things that will happen in the future. Was that the future? We're gonna need to figure out what that was and what it means and how to avoid it. Hey Rosie, in honor of your science fair project, I've prepared a little dance for you. We're definitely skipping over this. <laughs> 